All right, guys, welcome back. In today's question, we need to find the centroid of the plane area as shown. Uh, if you look at this, we'll see that we have a quarter circle and a small square inside. So at the end, what we have is what we need to find is to find uh, the shaded area, which will be basically the quarter circle minus uh, the square that we have. So uh, what we need to do in here is to find the central for this one, uh, the quarter circle, and we need to also find the uh, central for the square in here. And after that, uh, we're going to go to find the center of gravity. And we know for a uh, centroid, if you want to find the X component, I will have these two formula for finding x and y and based on these all we need to do is to find the centroid of each component and uh, the area so we usually go with the table if we call this one one and this one two uh, at the end what we need to find two is we have the components and the way we solve this question is usually we go with the with a table that has each of these components so we have, first of all we have each component which in here we have the the quarter circle and the square we need to find the area each and our unit will be inch squared we'll have x of uh, each of these two and we also have uh, what we have in here since we have a symmetric shape uh, if I look at this line that I'm drawing, because of the symmetry of this uh, area that's shown, our X and Y will be the same. So we don't need to calculate each, it will be uh, the same. So from here, we know that these two are equal. So from here, let's start with our first figure, which is the quarter circle. Uh, the area of circle would be p times r squared and since it's quarter we have divided by four we know the radius is 10 so we simply have a pi times 10 squared divided by four and this will give us 78.54 for the x we know that this will be our centroid and for finding this we simply have and for this, we simply have 4 times r divided by 3 pi. That will be same scenario for y. And as I mentioned earlier, we don't need to do both because because of the symmetry, we know they are the same. So, so as I mentioned, we have 4r divided by 3 pi. So we simply we have 4 times 10 divided by 3 pi. And if we calculate this, we'll get 4.24. And the last one we just need to multiply these two and if we do that we'll get 333.33 so that was the first figure the second one we'll have the square and we have a negative sign in here because we have to subtract this the square from the quarter circle and we simply have for finding the area we have 5 times 5 which is uh, minus 25 and a square is a symmetrical shape so we'll be at the center which would be uh, simply phi divided by 2 or the side which we know 5 inches divided by 2 so we'll have 2.5 and we'll get minus 62.5 if we do that and the last row what we need in the formula is the numerator of the fraction which is what we have in here and denominator will be the sum of all the areas. And if you calculate those, we'll get 53.54 for the area, and we'll have 270.83 for the last column. And as I mentioned, we know uh, the X and Y component are the same because of the symmetry of the shape, and we'll simply have 270.83 divided by 53.54 which would give us 5.06 inches so again because of the symmetry of uh, this figure we will have same x and y and we don't need to, to go for x and y and calculate each separately mm -hmm. 